So on Wednesday, everyone was on about how Article 13 had passed, and people were acting like the EU was gonna bust down their door and confiscate their memes at any moment. Problem is... That's not true. Article 13 did not pass, it got approved. And though colloquially you might say that those two terms are interchangeable, legally they are very much not. Here's the story so far. In June, the EU Copyright Directive was presented to the European Parliament and rejected, primarily because of Articles 11 and 13. What happened since then is that amendments to the bill were formulated and added, and what happened on Wednesday is that the European Parliament voted on which amendments to the bill they wanted to approve of being in the bill. They essentially decided upon what their wording of the bill would be. And there were some amendments passed on Article 11, for instance, which made it a lot less harsh, but it's still an absolute mess and probably will still be completely dysfunctional like all other legislation to this effect that has existed in several European countries over the years. Here's the big boy though. Article 13 dictates that content distribution platforms must make sure that no copyrighted material is ever uploaded to their platform in the first place, as opposed to how it works now and how it has worked for a while, where, I mean, you know, they should have systems in place to prevent this, but the main way of taking down copyrighted material is, I see you have my copyrighted material on your platform, I issue a takedown request, you now have to take it down. And that already doesn't work very well, but it's a lot better than what platforms would have to do if Article 13 is actually implemented. Because that would require the use of bots, and everybody knows Probably even all of the MEPs know by this point that the bots used for this kind of thing are by design not exactly the pinnacle of artificial intelligence. I mean, there's a lot of content and thus a lot of money involved here. Naturally, as a big platform, you would want to protect yourself from potential lawsuits. So you're gonna make your bot err uh, on the side of caution. This is the thing that would effectively ban memes. There is no memes shall be illegal clause in Article 13, but bots are just not capable of distinguishing parody, satire, and memes, which memes often use copyrighted content and use it transformatively in order to become memes. The bot wouldn't be smart enough to separate actual copyright infringement from parody and satire, which is all stuff that memes fall under. Also note that with this new EU copyright directive, Memes are on sort of shaky ground legally, maybe, possibly, a bit wonky. That's a very difficult legal question that there's just no point trying to answer it at this point. So the amendments that were approved for Article 13 was for once that very small sites and companies do not have to abide by what Article 13 dictates. So basically all the sites where no one goes anyway. And non-profits also do not have to filter, like GitHub and Wikipedia. However, the way the law is worded, a lot of people are saying, hang on a minute, that wouldn't actually exclude GitHub and Wikipedia, even though they are non-profits. And considering that the people who are trying to push this through the European Parliament are noted liars about this thing, well, you know. But bugger, you said it was approved, so it fucking passed, right? Again, approved and passed are two very distinct things. What the European Parliament finalized is the specific bill that they are going to present to the European Council with the mediating force of the European Commission also in there in Trilogue which is a super shady behind closed door thing that really shouldn't be in any democratic government. The European Council, by the way, is just all of the heads of state of the European nation. So hit up your presidents, your prime ministers and your chancellors. Let them know that you, you do not like this law. If the European Council then approves this legislation, which is pretty much inevitable, then it will be sent to the European Parliament for a final vote and that will be the vote that actually decides whether or not the new copyright directive is really passed in the past type sense. And that vote is very likely going to happen early next year. And if the EU copyright directive does pass, 
all of the EU member states will have to draft and pass legislation in their own countries and legal systems that is compliant with this directive because that is usually how EU lawmaking works. There is of course a certain amount of leeway here. If the MEPs are anyway representative of the politicians also in charge of all of the countries, the French will probably go, ah, let's go for the most draconian interpretation of this. Whereas the Swedes will go, we should just implement the most liberal interpretation we could possibly come up with for this law. This is also provided that the legislation isn't overturned by EU courts, because many legal experts agree that it does violate standing EU law. The earliest point at which it would actually be implemented would be around 2021, which might seem far away, but it really isn't. It's like mid to late 2018. Here's the good news though. The very final vote on Article 13 and thereby the EU Copyright Directive will happen within earshot of the next European election. And everybody knows that that's the only time where even the most corrupt politicians at least try to put on a friendly face. Because obviously if you put in legislation that is very, very, very bad for your constituents, very close to the election, they will actually be able to remember that you just did that and you might lose your position. And we, the internet, can make that be very, very loud. So though there is still a good chance that it will pass, if we make enough noise, if we spread the word enough, if we inform enough people about how horrible this is and if we mobilize them, and if we meme really, really hard, they might just be too scared to pass it, and then it'll be rejected, and then it'll be dead. You know, until the point where they come up with some equivalent legislation that they will introduce that's basically the same thing. So fear not, the battle may have been lost, but the war is yet to be won. Thank you very much for watching this video. A uh, very important announcement. I mean, I have already announced this uh, in other occasions and but I've been announcing this for a very long time. This is my last video for this month. On Sunday, I will be leaving for Spain to hang out with my grandparents uh, and also my girlfriend is coming with me. And during that time, I will not be on any social media at all. I have canned one video that will release during my absence. There are also two guest spots that I have filled with channels that I find are criminally fucking undersubbed with how much work they put into their videos and just how good those videos are. I would have liked to feature more channels, but let's be honest, I fucked up and I forgot to let them know. So do, do look forward to those videos because I, I've, I've, I've seen at least one of them and they're, you know, the other's still in the works. It's, they're, they're good, man. Or man -S, really, with this is a all genders channel. So yeah, in that spirit, uh, be aware that Article 13 has not fucking passed and the war is not over. And see you around, cunts.